good day guys and welcome back to my channel my name is ijoma in today's video i'm going to show you guys how to cover a bra cup using a fabric and a lining you can cover it without a lining but in this video i'll show you how to cover it with a lining too so stay tuned and watch so first of all i'm going to cut out my my fabric using a doll face size satin so i'll fold it into four i'll fold six by six you fold it as if you want to cut a peplum or a circle so after folding you have four pieces there and from the point from the center i measured six inches round you can measure from four to six inches depending on the size of your bra cup but i measured six inches so that i'll have enough workspace for my bra cup so you open it this way to be into two now and at each edge at the at the at the two points i measured 1.5 inch down and from there i'll bring it up to the center and down to where i measured the other 1.5 inch so i will cut out and if i open it up this is how it will look like you can make it one inch or 1.5 inch before cutting out so i cut out my lace fabric because i'm sewing a lace gown so i cut out my lace pieces and i placed them on my door face satin then i'm going to hold it down using my machine i'll do it for each pieces remember that there will be four pieces that is a pair two pairs because i'll be working with two bra cups so i'll go ahead and fix the lace fabrics on them done with one side and um doing the other side i'm trying to hold the lace fabric down to the doll face fabric using my machine so after that you will trim out the unwanted parts and you trim out your threads i'm trying to remove the stones from the parts where i will join them from so after that i'll place the two facing each other i'll place them in a way that they'll be facing each other and i'll go ahead and run a stitch a straight stitch there so after that i will notch i'll do this for both the fabric the main fabric and the lining remember that i have two pairs of fabric of lace fabric and two pairs of lining too so i've finished joining my lining and i'm trying to i'm notching my lining right now after that i'll go ahead and give them a nice press so this is how i'll fix it i'm done with one bra cup let me show you guys how to do it with the second bra cup so you open up your your um the piece that you have joined you can choose to place it vertically or horizontally but for this dress that i'm making i want to make it um horizontal i want to place it in a horizontal form so i'll try to place it the way i want then using my machine i will hold down my bra cup to my fabric I'll hold it down at the upper part mm -hmm. i did not come in mm -hmm. i i held it slightly so that the thread won't be that noticeable the thread won't be popping mm -hmm. up so i'll go ahead and hold down the rest but uh, the rest of the bra cup and after that i will trim out the unwanted parts but while trimming remember to leave at least 0.4 inch on all the sides of the bra cup so that you have an allowance for fixing your lining because you will still turn this with your lining 
so after trimming this is what it will look like as you can see i have half inch round them you can leave at least 0 0.4 inch so the next thing is to cover this brack up to turn it with my lining so i'm holding my lining right now the next thing that would that i'll do is to place the lining this way so that the right sides will be facing each other then i will go ahead and turn only the upper parts i'll turn only the upper parts as you can see i'm holding it i'm running a stitch there then after that i will trim out the excess After that, I will trim out the excess. I'll make sure that my stitch is tight. Then I'll go ahead and notch. After notching, I'll go ahead and top stitch. Top stitching is very, very important. It will help you so that the lining will not be popping out from the inside. So after that, I'll fold over. You can add a hemming gum at the upper part before ironing. Then after that, I'll fold the lining over and I will hold it down this way. When you are sewing, remember to make enough space for your breast inside the cup. Do not allow the lining to be straight. Make sure that the lining has has some excess inside so that the bra cup will be able to accommodate your breast so after doing that i'll go ahead and do it for the second bra cup so i'm done right now and i'll go ahead and cut out the excess and yeah our bra cup is ready as you can see the inside is very neat then i'll repeat the same thing for the second bra cup i'll fix it this way and turn it with my lining the reason why i made my circle why i cut my, out my circle by six is because i like working with enough space you can make it for the bra cup that i'm using now is size 36 but i like working with enough space i like, I like working in enough space i like excess fabric most times so that i can be able to achieve exactly what i want to achieve I would have cut it out by four if i wanted but i made it six so that i will have enough this six can cover a bra cup of size 40 or, or more so i'm done with the second bra cup and i'm trimming out the excess and yeah i'll go ahead and iron the bolts and that's all our bra cups are ready very very ready they are ready for whatever i want to use them for right now the next thing is to move to my ironing table and give them a nice press and yeah this is what i used it for if you guys want to see a video of this corset please comment in the comment and please do not forget to subscribe bye